So let's talk about air tools, or I guess air tips, things that you would use to blow out. I've got a pad that I just finished polishing the M2 with. I'll show you how, how we blow how I blow this thing out. Uh, the the for years I used just a regular Prevost uh, tip or, or nozzle or whatever you call this thing. Um, yeah, blow gun, that's what they're called. Thanks, Mike. So for years what I would do, and I'll show you how I did this, but you would, and some people still like this method where you kind of start in the middle and you work your way out with a traditional type of tip. Uh, but the Tornador is one of the things that does a much better job because of its little filament in here that flops around and creates a bit more random air and a wider distribution of air. So when you think about air delivery, you know, a air compressor is not great for blowing off your car uh, when it's wet because it doesn't deliver as much flow. You know, lots of pinpoint, it's kind of like a pressure washer. You have lots of pressure, but not a lot of air flow. Uh, and so what a Tornador does is essentially spreads out the air distribution, gives you a little more flow. Uh, so this, this is what my little little blow gun uh, drawer looks like. So I've got a couple of door, door props, uh, but I've got the Prevost ones. I do like these. I use these quite often. This one, not as much. Um, but I also use the S1. Uh, the S1 blow guns, which fit really nicely on a S1 coupler, uh, but having a Tornador, I think, is a you know is a, is a must-have. And you can see there's a permanent spot in my drawer organization, including my $650 scissors, which gets everybody mad. But I'm gonna hide these. What I'm what I'm planning on doing. Everybody comes in my freaking garage here. All these dudes in this room, and they take my scissors to cut their freaking paper. I'm gonna get some knockoff version. Get your own scissors. So I'm gonna hide these. Mike's using them to cut wire, and he's cutting cutting nickels. He's like, oh, well, let's cut a quarter, and he tries to see if it'll work. So, so anyway, the the. Um, the, the key component to this, I think, is to have a great coupler as well. So this is uh, how I have my setup uh, in my garage. We have two Cox hose reels. These are easy coil reels. And then this is actually our you know, obsessed garage continental hose that we've uh, that we found. And, um, and so this combination of an easy coil reel, meaning that when I let it recoil, it's nice, smooth and smooth and controlled. So this is a big component of having this whole ecosystem, not just the Tornador, but having your whole air system set up. And I have a fancy uh, compressor over there and uh, with an air dryer, and then we have Prevost lines running all over the place. So uh, we can design all that stuff for you if you're interested. Uh, but I've been chasing, you know, air compressors, just like I've been chasing pressure washers, just like I've been chasing a drying aid, just like I've been chasing car parts for my whole life, it seems. Uh, and so having this, not just the Tornador, but having this combination of a fluid swiveling coupler, this Prevost S1 coupler, uh, one of the great parts about this coupler is when I press the button, it's a double release. So it doesn't, uh, you don't have to like hold it down and release and you have that big burst of air. The type of action, the way it works is nice and smooth. And, uh, and then of course, they make very specific blow guns designed for for ergonomics for this, this S1 coupler. So I think you want all of them. You know, I'm using all types of, of blow guns. This one is an OSHA compliant, so it has you know, basically, if I put my finger on the tip, it'll push the pressure out the side. That way you don't, you know, because there's just a risk you can hurt yourself with a, with a blow gun. So the Tornador, well, you heard the difference. So if you hear, you know, like a traditional type of gun, that's your normal pinpoint air distribution versus, it even sounds way different. And you can see the filament inside moving. You can see all the polished residue I have in there. I've been using this thing for years. And so if you were to, if you were here with me and you were to, you know, hold your hand out, it's hitting all the way from here on my wrist, all the way past my fingertips. So I get, 
I get a lot more, of, or it's like, it's like cheater volume. So it's spreading out the air distribution as well as randomizing it by this filament bouncing around. So let's, let's take a pad here. Uh, actually, let me grab, I think I have another pad in there. So lo let's blow out one traditionally and then let's blow out one of the Tornador. I'll show you the difference. So I don't like to blow out pads in my fancy garage. You could, but then they're gonna get dust all over the place. So what I do is I usually hang this like this. So I'll have my, I'll have my hose running across the garage here. Now that I think about it, I should have put a hose reel over here and I'll hang this on the door. And then everybody freaks out when they come in thinking that, you know, something's gonna grab them or get them. And I hang it on the door like this. And then I'll walk with my, this is why cordless polishers are so game changing for me. So I'll take, let's just say I just finished polishing the panel. I wanna blow out the pad. Depending on what I'm doing, usually compounding, I'll blow out at least every other set of passes. A lot of times I'll blow out every pass. I'll open the door up. And this works fine too. So if you have a free spinning dual action polisher, what you do, you start at the middle, get it spinning. Work your way out. And then your pad's ready to go. Now, the other option is to do the tornador. This pad's dirty enough, let's just do this. So the tornador, what I'll do is I'll take my thumb, lock or stop the pad from rotating. And it's usually quicker, I'll usually go, done. Let me grab that other pad and just show you. I mean, look how nice and fresh this pad sat overnight. It looks ready to go. It doesn't take all the product out, but it takes a good chunk of it. So here's a pad that's been sitting as well. Put it on the machine, take my thumb, stop it from rotating. That's what I'll do. And then sometimes blow off my machine. So it just makes that work where you know, just a little, you know, takes 20 seconds off of your, off of your spray out or blow out, but you get a much better, much better blow out of the pad. The other thing that's nice, if you come inside here, but for interiors or for like, if you were trying to get, like if you, if you're blowing out a crack or a crevice or something like that, you know, I I'm gonna get polish all over the place, but I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't use the Tornador. Um, but it, the, other, the other thing is, it's probably a good idea if you're gonna, if you use a Tornador a lot, if you're doing a lot of interior stuff, like blowing out cracks and things like that, um, you would use it in combination with a vacuum, so you'd have a vacuum in one hand and then this in the other. Uh, but you would want a separate one because you just saw I just blew some polish. Uh, because you get you can, you could clean it out. You could take this this tip off and clean it out if you wanted to, uh, but I tend to prefer I just have a couple of them. I don't clean interiors, so I don't get clean interiors dirty. But you could take this off, clean this filament, clean this part out, and then do that. Get all that gunk out of there before you start messing with your interior. Otherwise, you're going to blow polish all over it. Um, but if this is why I think it's important to have regular tipped blow guns as well as the Tornador because like after polishing uh, or before polishing and after polishing, so let's say I decon the car, you know, you're going to get water in these, in these cracks that your Ego blower can get out, but this will do better. Like, you know, like this part is on, the, on, a, on an M3 always has water in it. So. So having a regular blow gun with that pinpoint accuracy is better than the Tornador. Uh, and so I think it makes a lot of sense to have both. Uh, it just depends on, it depends on what, your, what application you're doing. But the, the Tornador thing is, a, I think, a must have, even if you're not detailing, just for you know, messing with interiors, you'll find a lot of uses for it. Um, it is technically safer than this as well. Uh, it's also safer for your ears. You know, you should use ear protection when you're using a traditional pinpoint blow gun. Um, I find that this distributes the air enough to where it doesn't bother my ears at all. And uh, it's just a great tool to have in your drawer in case you, you know, you need it. And so I wanna say this drawer, 
I mean, we probably have just a couple hundred bucks of, of tools in here. I also have a PCL. This is just a, uh, you know, a tire gauge as well in here. Um, so you could buy a couple hundred bucks worth of uh, blow guns and then you have an assortment. I've sort of curated, these are the ones that I like the most. Uh, and so these are the ones that we, we carry in the store. But anyway, hit up obsessgarage.com. It's always helpful if you, uh, you buy stuff from us, helps me chase this crazy nonsense of finding way cool uh, you know, hoses and, and, uh, and hose reels and you know, couplers and all this stuff. And then you know, it reminds me that the Prevost catalog has like a fit picture from like 10 feet away of a coupler like this. You're like, how does that work? What you don't know, what they don't show you is this amazing fluid, 360 degree fluid swiveling. It's freaking awesome. So I like to think that Obsessed Garage is helping to contribute, helping to contribute to some value in the world. So it helps us to uh, hit up the site. If you have any questions about anything, you can always hit up support at obsessedgarage.com. Those guys really know this stuff. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next product, next video. See you soon.